4 CG, man. You know how to fuck with Rocker, man. Four Corner Glow Gang, man. You know how to fuck on Bubba, man. You know I'm coming, man. All right, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We got a lot to talk about. So Adam22 and GAG Ruga just did an interview, and it seems like there's a lot of controversy going on about this interview. It seems like Adam22 is trying to ask those personal questions between Ruga and the gang and FYB J-Man and things allegedly involving Dirk, and Ruga's not trying to talk about none of that. Either way, within that interview, Adam22 still asked him, Basically, Adam22 was saying that Ruga's soft because he won't answer questions from interviews and interviews, basically like controversial questions, basically discussing things between Dirk and the album and basically the FYBJ main allegations. And so after the interview dropped, Adam22 went on Instagram Live, basically responding to all the response about Ruga not feeling the interview. He's not acting right. The energy was off. And basically, Adam22 says Ruga's soft and calling him out. And basically, I think Adam22 should, should watch his place because he's really not like that. And honestly, at the end of the day, I feel like with some of these interviewers and these interviews, these guys are just trying to ask controversial questions, obviously to get the viewers and the views, but at the same time, like they got to keep in mind some of these questions are like fed questions and stuff that just do not need to be talked about. It's just street stuff. And once again, you know, a lot of people do feel like Adam 22 does kind of feed off the culture. He's a culture vulture and he's, he's kind of living off the black entertainment industry and that, you know, Ruga basically went to his Instagram and posted about it and said that, you know, Adam 22 is a culture vulture. Basically trying to benefit from the community and that basically he's just asking fed questions. I'm not surprised that Ruga basically and Adam 22 basically got at it. Because if you do look at the interview between them, it, it was kind of awkward. And that at some point, uh, Ruga's producer comes on and basically explains the allegations of why he took down FYB J Man's YouTube channel and striked it basically over some money stuff. You know what I mean? Basically over rights and music rights and royalty splits. And that's a whole different topic. But at the end of the day, Adam 22 is basically causing beef with a, a Chirac demon that he don't got no business with. And I feel like Adam 22 has other things to worry about considering that his wife is getting piped by this like porn star that like he's allowing to like letting it happen and he's like paying this guy like there's just so much stuff that Adam 22 has to worry about from trying to speak on another man and then on top of it you speak into like a gd game like you're not even like like that bro you you are in la doing podcasts you know what i'm saying like and you really got no business even speaking on this stuff guys so i really think that this whole situation just is going to make Adam 22 once again realize that he really don't have no one on his side and that these controversial questions at some point are gonna have to stop the people that he's having come on his podcast aren't in interested in entertaining his fans with beef and speaking on certain politics of street allegations so at the end of the day i'm 22 is going to keep running into this situation like comment subscribe hit the notification bell we got more content coming soon um check out the other interviews with ruga FYBJ main and you know basically what FYBJ main was saying was that Ruga didn't do nothing for the gang or his family and Ruga already responded and said that it was false and that he never really chilled FYBJ main but we see this go time to time when there's controversy inside clicks but like I said like comment subscribe hit that notification bell we got more content coming soon stay posted